good day to everyone so in the last videos we have discussed about the some of the method uh, which is used to solve the uh, differential equation in particular we have uh, discussed about the euler's method and the euler's uh, modified euler's method particularly the predictor and corrector method and the fourth order rangay kota methods especially the fourth order rangay kota methods we have seen and how this uh, three methods uh, are used to solve the differential equation so in this video we are going to compare this uh, all the three uh, different methods euler's as well as predictor corrector and uh, the fourth order rangay kota method and how the error is actually error is actually reduced once we are moving uh, once we are actually uh, starting from euler's to rangay kota method i am going to explain this with the uh the programming examples with the uh, problem so in order to compare this all these three di different methods i am going to consider this uh, equation dy by dx is equal to minus 2 into x cube plus 12 x squared minus 20x plus 8.5 so this is the differential equation i have taken and i am going to solve this equation for the uh, all the three methods euler's modified euler's as well as rangay kota method So the initial conditions which I have given is x is equal to zero. For uh, at x is equal to zero, we have the value of y is equal to one, and we have to find out the values of the x in the range of zero to four with the time step of which is equal to zero point five. Okay. So once if you try to solve this uh, uh, equation, you can get the exact solution is y equal to minus zero point five into x power four uh, plus four x cube minus ten x squared plus eight point five x plus one. So this is the general solution. and we have already discussed this when uh, we have discussed the uh, this method to solve this uh, equation using euler's method and i also remember, i also remember that i have solved this equation using the euler's method using the the photon programming now i am going to compare this with the modified euler as well as the rangay kota method i'm just writing the program to solve the same equation and i am going to uh, uh, I fix the value of h is equal to 0.5 and show you how this error is actually reduced once we are moving from uh, Euler's to Rangay Kota method. Okay, first I start with the modified Euler's method, especially the Huygens method, uh, where I have uh, where we have uh, so we have to have the the predictor equation as well as the corrector equation. So first we have to predict the slope at the uh, the range of x x of y and x i plus h. Then I have to take the another slope at this x of y plus h range, and then I have to take the average. Then uh, we can uh, have the corrector equation. So this uh, pro, this uh, the uh, equation is actually converted into the program, and this is the corresponding photon program to uh, solve the differential equation, the above equation using the Huygens method. So here uh, this everything is the declaration part as well as the, the opening the file, and uh, the h is equal to zero point five is the time step. Y is equal to zero. Y zero is equal to one is the the initial condition. So in order to compare the numerical solution, I have calculated the exact solution in the range of zero to four. Uh, zero to four. Uh, so this is the exact solution. This value is actually given here, and which is actually written written the file uh, with the values of x and y. And this do loop. Uh, so the here actually I have used the This the do loop is actually the 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 predictor and corrector method, the Huygens method, where I have calculated the first slope. This is nothing but the Euler's equation, and then I have used this slope to calculate the or correct the the approximate solution. So this is the correct equation, the corrector equation. So I have just converted with this taken this uh, the values of uh, y zero to y one and y two in order to uh, just kind of uh, initiate this uh, uh, variables y one and y two. So the x1, which is actually the uh, the xi, which is actually varying from in the do loop, I have varying this x1 from 0 to 4 with the time step of h every time step of h, so that uh, the first value xi is equal to sorry x1 is equal to x0 plus h and uh, x2 is is equal to x1 plus h and so on. So first time x is equal to 0 means the the uh, the value of initial condition is 0, so that the h is equal to x0 plus h so first time it takes the zero and then we print the values of the first uh, initial conditions x1 as well as the y1 y1 is also is a zero because y0 is the one so that the first value is zero and one then i can calculate calculating the slope that is nothing but the, the f of xi and yi which is nothing but the, the the equation the the corresponding differential equation with the the initial value For the initial value x i equal to zero, that means the first initial condition using the initial condition, it calculates the slope, and this slope is actually used to calculate the 
uh, the oil uh, the first predictor equation that means y of i plus 1 of 0 which is equal to y of i slope into time step that is what i have given here y1 is equal to y1 plus the slope which is we have calculated here is the slope 1 into the time step h so this uh, uh, the, the loop is actually calculating the uh, the it is actually predicting the uh, solution using this predictor equation then this equation is actually used to for, for, for find out that the correct uh, the correct solution so that i can just uh, have another variable x2 which is nothing but the x of i plus 1 so x of i plus 1 x of 1 x1 plus h is the nothing but the this x of i plus 1 okay so uh, and i am going to write this x1 and y2 that is y2 is the uh, this uh, value I, before going to uh, find out the, the correct equation i have to find out the another slope that is f of x of i plus 1 and y of i plus 1 of 0 that means whatever the values which i have calculated which I have to substitute here uh, in the same equation uh, same equation and then i have to find out the average of this slope so that i can uh, find out this uh, same equation with the value of uh, x2 uh, in the all the equation then uh, after the finding the slope 2 i can take the average slope 1 in plus slope 2 divided by 2 uh, that is multiplied by 0 0.5 multiplied uh, which is multiplied also multiplied by the time step h okay then i can add with the previous value yi uh, that is y2 here so once every time is the x1 is changing from 0 to 4 with the time step increment of 0 0.5 it actually calculating this uh, x1 as well as the y1 as well as the y2 which can be printed in the data file uh, so that means this uh, the predictor value this is the predictor equation is actually uh, stored in the, in the separate data file and then the correct equation that means the, 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 the final equation is final uh, answer of this uh, predictor Huon's method is actually stored in the another uh, uh, data file so that I can compare this uh, two solutions with the original solution. So once if you compile this program and run the program, this data will be stored in the data file, which can be plotted using the JNU plot. So here this uh, purple color is uh, the exact solution, which we have seen in the last video itself. So this is the exact solution using the calculating using this, uh, this do loop. And then this green color is actually the Euler's method calculated of the Euler's method. That means this uh, the predicted uh, predictor equation I have just uh, uh, having this x1 and y1 which is actually calculated here which is the Euler's uh, using the Euler's method I have calculated this predictor one and then the the, the using the the, the 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 final equation that means the Huon's method I have calculated the, the the calculated solution is this so this is the the solution of the Huon's method now you can see this. Ah, uh, this is Euler's method. Uh, the, 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 this is the numerically approximated Euler's method, which is actually almost tracking the solution. However, there is an error between this uh, exact solution and Euler's method is very high. So once if you are using the Huon's method, that means the predictor and corrector method, you can see that the error is actually drastically reduced, and it is actually almost closely following the the general so the exact solution. The the both the solution is actually calculated for the which is equal to 0 0.5. However, okay, we can see that the Euler's method, the Huon's method is much better than the, uh, much better tracking the exact solution than the Euler's method. So from this one can, we can conclude that uh, the Huon's method is much better than the Euler's method to predict the, uh, any differential equation. Suppose if you want to improve the prediction uh, with the uh, same first order equation with the same time step, then we can go for the, the Runge Kutta method. So I have solved the same equation using the Runge Kutta method and I will show you the program now. So as we already know that this is the fourth order the formula for the Runge Kutta, fourth order Runge Kutta method. Y of i plus 1 is equal to Y of i plus 1 by 6 times of k1 plus 2, k2 plus 2, k3 plus k4. This k1, k2, k3, k4 are the uh, four slopes which can be given by k1 is equal to h of uh, uh, h into f of xi, yi and k2 is equal to h into f of xi plus half times of h comma yi plus half times of k1 into h. Similarly, the k3 and k4 is given here. So I can just convert this uh, mathematical algorithm into mathematical formula into the computer algorithm and the corresponding uh, the formula means the, the, the program is given here. So this is the main program and this is the, the subroutine for the Runge Kutta formalism as well as this is the, uh, the subroutine which actually uh, uh, 
showing the corresponding equation the differential equation we have have we can have okay so in this uh, 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 sub root in the rake kutta form i have taken this uh, uh, the general form of the rake kutta method where i have taken this uh, slopes k1 k2 k3 k4 as a uh, arrays so that uh, even if you have the uh, higher dimensional systems you can use the same uh, rake kutta formalism loop that means this sub root is general for the all the uh, programs so that you can just use this subroutine for the any differential equation to solve it only provided you have to just change the dimension here i have used only the single dimension suppose if you have the n dimensional equation or a, a higher dimensional equation you can change the uh, dimensions accordingly so this the first loop that means uh, this call is actually uh, call function is actually call, calling this equation so that every time it actually calculating the calling this uh, equation to calculate the uh, the slope k1 that means to the phi f of uh, uh, f of xi yi and other uh, the functions which will be called uh, calculated using just by calling this subroutine to the the Runge kutta subroutine so once if you first time it's uh, calling then it is actually calculating this k1 that means the slope first slope into h into the prime that means prime is nothing but the, the f of uh, xi and yi and then i can take this uh, value i uh, calculating this uh, xi plus k1 divided by 2 that means uh, this uh, value i just uh, uh, calculating using this uh, uh, using this uh, formula and store it in the another uh, temporary variable just for the calculation purpose similarly i can calculate the the uh, uh, the slope k2 just by again uh, so similarly i can calculate i mean calculated the k k2 k3 and k4 all this uh, slopes using this uh, f uh, formalism and then finally x is equal to x i plus 1 by 6 times of k1 a plus 2 times of k2 plus k3 plus k4 so all these loops will be average taxes taken an average and find out the uh, x1 and this one x i this x i or uh, the, the array will be uh, returned to the main program whenever it is called that means whenever this uh, call function of the ra the rangi kota fourth order uh, a subroutine it actually returning the values of x and h uh, x and h so that it will print the values uh, in the uh, main program so in the main program i have again taken this n dimension of this equation is 1 because it's a single order first order equation and then the time step is taken as a h which is equal to uh, 0 0.5 and starting values of iteration is 0 and the uh, up to the fourth uh, uh, up to the value of 4 i have calculated the values and then uh, based on this uh, uh, the starting value and end value i can just uh, having the equation just using this formula uh, i end minus i star divided by h so that i can find out the how how, how many uh, times i have to run the iterate this uh, equation to reach the range from 0 to 4 this is the initial value and this is the loop where i can uh, first time it takes i equal to 0 and it calculate the uh, it calls the rangi kutta of uh, equa of uh, subroutine and this subroutine actually calculates this equation so that after the first uh, step it actually returns the values of x and h will be, will be printed and then again this two loop is uh, run up to the value from 0 to n run each time it actually uh, uh, mean, uh, uh, printing the printing the values in a data file which is actually written as rk4 dot dash so that i can uh, plot this uh, the, uh, the solution in the uh, uh, but the GNU using the GNU plot and compare it with the, the other two methods, Euler as well as the, the predictor and corrector method. So the calculated values from the from this program is actually plotted in this equation. So here is the, again this the purple color is the exact solution, and this is the Euler's method, and this is the the modified Euler's method, and this orange color which is actually represents the the fourth order Runge kutta data for the fourth order Runge kutta method, which you can see that it is actually closely uh, following the uh, the exact solution so you can see that, uh, that i have taken this uh, the same time step of h is equal to 0 0.5 for the, all the three uh value three three methods one can see, see that the first value which is starting from zero i mean that means from, from one or x equal to zero and then you can see that the first step you can exactly see that the 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 the, the, call, the value which is calculated using the range kutta method is exactly fitted with the uh the the true solution but however, if you to see the, the modified as well as the Euler's method, we can see the error. And then you can every iteration, this uh, ra, ra, the solution which is calculated using the fourth order Runge-Kutta method is actually uh, exactly following the uh, 
the, exact, the the true solution therefore if you compare the any uh, uh, methods uh, whether euler has a modified euler method as the rk method fourth order rk method so you can find that this 4k uh, fourth order ange kota method is the best uh, to solve the differential equation because it exactly uh, almost exactly so uh, so i mean uh, uh tracking the true solution suppose if you increase the so we decrease the time step to a uh, much lesser values for example h is equal to 0.01 then the, time, the error between the uh, the exact solution and the uh, the numerically calculated solution is very very less very negligible so that the value which we have calculated the numerically approximated value will be exactly following the the true solution okay so that's all in this video just we have compared the we have taken the simple uh, differential equation and we have numerically solved the uh, differential equation using using the three methods euler uh, modified euler as well as the fourth order ange kota method and we have uh, compared this uh, equation uh, the this uh, uh, solutions and we have visually seen that how the error is actually minimized when you are using the the fourth order ange kota method okay so if you have any doubts and uh, if you require any uh, required any our uh, clarification regarding this program then we can discuss it in the online class okay thank you